Oysters, clams, and mussels, what's the real difference? They might all share shells in the same watery home, but their lives, habits, and roles couldn't be more distinct. Are oysters truly the prized elites of the sea? Are mussels the rugged survivors, and clams the ultimate comfort food? Let's unravel the mysteries of these fascinating bivalves, exploring their unique traits, surprising histories, and the crucial part they play in our world. Oysters belong to the family Ostriidae and are characterized by their rough, irregular shells. They primarily inhabit marine or brackish environments, attaching themselves to hard substrates such as rocks, ship hulls, or piers. Oysters are filter feeders, drawing water through their gills to extract plankton and other nutrients. Some species, such as the eastern oyster, Crassostria virginica, are renowned for their ability to form reefs, which provide critical habitats for other marine organisms. Clams, on the other hand, are members of various families, including Venaridae, hard clams, and Mactridae, surf clams. Unlike oysters, clams burrow into sandy or muddy substrates, relying on their muscular foot for movement. They also filter feed but are more mobile than oysters. Clams' symmetrical, smooth shells and their ability to live buried in sediment distinguish them from their oyster relatives. Mussels, primarily from the family's Matility, Marine, and Unionidae, freshwater, are known for their elongated, asymmetrical shells. Marine mussels attach to surfaces using bissel threads, strong, silky fibers, while freshwater mussels often anchor themselves within riverbeds. Like oysters and clams, mussels are filter feeders, playing vital roles in maintaining water quality in their ecosystems. Oysters have been prized by humans for millennia, serving as a source of food, pearls, and even cultural symbolism. Archaeological evidence reveals that oysters were consumed as early as 125,000 years ago. Shell mittens, ancient heaps of discarded shells, found along coastlines from Europe to Asia highlight their importance in prehistoric diets. In ancient Rome, oysters were a delicacy enjoyed by the elite. Roman engineer Sergius Arata is credited with developing early aquaculture techniques around 100 BCE, cultivating oysters in artificial ponds. The Roman obsession with oysters is well documented, they were transported long distances and even became a status symbol. During the Middle Ages in Europe, oysters were a common food for the working class due to their abundance and ease of harvest. However, by the 19th century, overfishing and pollution caused wild oyster populations to decline, transforming them into a luxury item. In Asia, oysters have long been integral to coastal cultures, particularly in China and Japan. Traditional methods of oyster farming, such as the use of bamboo racks, have been practiced for centuries. Oysters' role in pearl production also holds cultural and economic significance, particularly in Japan, where cultured pearl farming revolutionized the industry in the early 20th century. Clams have been a dietary staple for coastal communities worldwide. Evidence from shell middens suggests that Native American tribes along the Atlantic and Pacific coasts relied heavily on clams for sustenance. In addition to their nutritional value, clam shells were used as tools, ornaments, and even currency in some indigenous cultures. In Europe, clams were less celebrated than oysters but still played an essential role in coastal diets. During the Industrial Revolution, clams became a more widely traded commodity particularly as advancements in transportation allowed for their distribution to inland regions. Dishes such as New England clam chowder emerged as iconic recipes, reflecting the importance of clams in American culinary history. Clams also hold cultural significance in Asia, where they are featured in traditional cuisines. In Japan, manila clams, Rudy Tapes Philippinarum, are a common ingredient in soups and stews, while in China, Clams are often stir-fried with garlic and chili. 
mussels have a rich history of human use, both as a food source and a cultural artifact. Evidence of mussel consumption dates back tens of thousands of years, with prehistoric communities gathering them from rocky shorelines and riverbeds. In Europe, mussels have been farmed since at least the 13th century. Legend attributes the invention of mussel farming to an Irishman named Patrick Walton, who accidentally discovered that mussels thrived when attached to wooden poles submerged in tidal waters. This technique, known as bouchot farming, is still widely used today. Mussels are a staple in many European cuisines, with dishes like French moles marinas and Belgian moles frites highlighting their culinary versatility. In Asia, freshwater mussels have been traditionally harvested for their shells, which were used to produce mother-of-pearl and buttons before the advent of plastic. Today, oysters remain a symbol of luxury and fine dining. Oyster farming has become a global industry, with major producers in countries such as the United States, France, and China. Sustainable aquaculture practices have helped mitigate the decline of wild oyster populations while providing economic opportunities for coastal communities. Oysters also play a crucial role in environmental restoration. Their ability to filter large volumes of water makes them invaluable for improving water quality in degraded ecosystems. Oyster reefs are now being restored in places like Chesapeake Bay to combat habitat loss and promote biodiversity. Clams continue to be an important food source worldwide. Advances in aquaculture have made clam farming more efficient, ensuring a steady supply for global markets. Hard clams, razor clams, and geoducks are particularly popular, each catering to specific culinary traditions. Clams are also gaining attention for their ecological benefits. Like other bivalves, clams contribute to water filtration and nutrient cycling. Their burrowing behavior aerates sediment, benefiting other benthic organisms. Mussels are celebrated for their sustainability as a seafood choice. They require minimal input to farm and have a low environmental impact compared to other forms of aquaculture. Mussels are rich in protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and essential nutrients, making them a nutritious option for health-conscious consumers. Efforts to restore freshwater mussel populations are underway in many regions, recognizing their importance in maintaining water quality and supporting aquatic ecosystems. Freshwater mussels are among the most endangered groups of animals, facing threats from habitat destruction, pollution, and invasive species. As we wrap up, oysters, clams, and mussels have shown us that even among shellfish, diversity reigns supreme. From their distinct lifestyles to their profound impact on ecosystems and human history, these bivalves offer a world of wonder and utility. Whether they're filtering water, supporting marine life, or gracing our plates with their unique flavors, they remind us of the beauty and complexity of nature. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you've enjoyed exploring the amazing world of oysters, clams, and mussels.